Sympathy for the Devil is directed by Yuval Adler and is currently streaming on most platforms. I watched it on YouTube. Dude, I was looking forward to this one after watching the trailer. I mean, basically because it looked like we were going to get crazy-ass Looney Tunes version of Nicolas Cage. You know, the one from The Wicker Man. Not the bees! You know, Bad Lieutenant, Port of New Orleans. Crazy Nick, that type of Crazy Nick. At least that's what was in the trailer. That's what the trailer portrayed, right? And upon watching the movie, we get Crazy Nick periodically. Did it save the movie and its and its bad story? Let's just get into that. So now, first off, the two main characters you got Nick Nick Cage, obviously, and Joel Kinnaman. That's the dude who was in both Suicide Squad fi- flicks. All right. Nick Cage is named the passenger, and Joel is called the driver. I kid you not. This is what they call these guys. All right. These are their names for the movie. Okay. This is kind of like John David Washington being called the protagonist and te- and tenant. Anyways. The driver is on his way to the hospital to support his wife who's about to give birth to their newborn baby. Now, unbeknownst to him, as he was parking in the garage, Cage, or should I say the passenger, hops in his car and threatens him with a gun to drive off. And off they go. And from this point on, it's kind of like a cat and mouse game where they drive for a bit, an incident occurs, and the driver tries to escape. But the passenger always finds his man. And, oh yeah, the setting I forgot is in Las Vegas. Things really heat up, though, when they stop at this diner called Roadhouse. A little homage to the OG movie with Patrick Swayze, I assume. The two have a pretty interesting conversation revealing why the passenger has chose the driver specifically. Plus, this is probably the best scene in the movie because we get to see Crazy Ass Cage just go off. And it's so fun to see. This is definitely the meat of the movie. Uh, this scene right here, I mean, I'm telling you right now. But overall, I just wasn't feeling this movie. I mean, I felt the plot was weak and more dramatic than it needed to be. I would have preferred Nick just be this crazy-ass dude just fucking with this random guy, or should I say the driver, whose car he just got into and gives him, like, the ride of his life or the not-so-ride of his life. And as we are gifted with crazy-ass Nick going just cuckoo throughout the whole the whole movie, that's, that's what I was hoping for. Instead, they tried to make this a more serious than it needed to be and took away some entertainment value i feel but i will say nick did his best with what he had with what he was given okay my man wore something christopher walken would have worn in the king of new york all right even had an accent like christopher walken it's pretty cool but this movie was only good when nick went off the rails because everything else kind of felt long and dull and the fact that it was a slow burn until nick really went off in certain parts dude this didn't help either, though. I mean, this is more of a drama suspense movie, just so you know. But there is one decent kill scene, though, I'll say, that was pretty violent, though. But the production value also was really good. Dude, it looked good. I gotta be honest with you. The cinematography, it was shot well. I mean, there's some very creative angles in this one. Its plot is what hurts this one, though. Plain and simple. It just needed a more simplistic story and not so serious, though. I think batshit crazy throughout would have been just... I mean, this could have been like one of those hidden classics, I guess you could say, you know? But it is what it is. But I will say this, though. If you watch this one, have some patience with it because it does take some time for it to pick up. Plus, as I said earlier before, there's only one really good scene. Even with this clocking in at an hour and a half, it felt longer because of the whack-ass plot. You've been warned. But you know, I ain't gonna leave you without a good recommendation though, right? Come on now, Shay Nasty's got your back. Now look, dude, if you really wanna see Nick Cage go off, I'm talking about off the fucking rails, this movie I'm about to tell you about is your fucking movie, all right? My man is the shit in this one. He co-stars in this one, okay? It's a little movie called Deadfall. And this is the version from 1993, okay? When Joe loses his dad in a sting, he contacts his dad's twin, Lou who has a major sting planned. Lou's helper feels threatened by Joe. Who's conning who? This one stars Michael Bean, the dude who played Hicks in Aliens, the badass fucking, oh man, anyways. And to keep it horror, there's also an appearance by Angus Scrim, AKA the tall man from Phantasm. Boy. Now Nick Cage, like I say, he co-stars in this one, but every scene he's in, dude, the motherfucker is batshit crazy. This picture is, is this picture only scratches the fucking surface, dude. I'm serious. 
you are going to laugh your ass off because it is just it's so overboard it's just it's so overboard it's fucking hilarious dude it's fantastic actually the movie is okay but i'm telling you dude this the scenes save it plus this one is i think this one is first roles where he actually just goes we get to see the beginning of the crazy like the true crazy all right I'll leave a link in the description so you can check this movie out. I implore you to. I think it's only like three or four bucks to watch. And what's wild and th what's crazy about this guy, though, Nick Cage, though, he's actually a really good actor, though. He's won a fucking award. One last thing I'll say about Nick Cage is this dude will play in any movie. If you check out his filmography, dude, he's played in some of the most random fucking movies to well-known to well-known ones, man. It's kind of like... I'm good. I'm, my guess is I think when he talks to his agent, his agent's like, look, I got this script. And he just cuts him off like, I'll do it. <laughs> and I think his, his agent's like, uh, you don't want to read the script? I'll do it. <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow, though, totally respect, though, man. I'm, I'm rambling now. Just having a good time. Anyways, that's all for today. Stay nasty, my friends, and I will see you at the next one. Shay Nasty out. I'll see you soon. Like and, like subscribe. and subscribe.